Hey there, Tutstickers. This time you're going to create a 3D shape in Adobe After Effects without using any plugins and then animate. It's up to you to decide where and how you want to use it, but I think it could be perfect for motion graphics and story animation. So, as always, go with the flow and just do it. Alright, to get started, create a new composition with full HD dimensions and name it blue. Then, use the pen tool to create a shape that will be replicated to form the 3D volume you need. Don't worry, you can change the shape later on whenever you want. Just make sure not to use the stroke option. After creating the shape, in the fill section, select linear gradients and click OK. You can also change the colors of the gradient in this section. You want to add a new color, simply click on an empty space. If you want to delete a color, drag it down. Now you can adjust the gradient direction using these points. Now, select the shape and place its anchor point in a suitable position. When you're ready, use Motion Sketch to specify the movement path. You can activate this option from the Windows menu. Please select the shape, click on Start Capture, and draw the path. Now you need to select all the keyframes that have been created. Adjust the timing by holding down the Alt key. Use the smoother to reduce the number of keyframes without ruining the movement path. Use the F9 key to make the movement smoother and use the Rove Across Time option to make the speed consistent. Now, you've reached the main section. Use the Echo effect to replicate the shape. Set the echo time to a small number and the number of echoes to a large number. Select composite in front for the echo operator and enjoy the result. Press the R key. Without holding down the Alt key, click on the stopwatch. Type time start 90 to make the shape rotate. Now, select Precompose and click on Inner Shadow in the Layer Style section. For the Inner Shadow settings, select White Color as an overlay. Please pay attention to the numbers used for settings. At this stage, create a solid layer and adjust the color with the gradient ramp effect. Then, by creating an adjustment layer and using the deep glow effect, you can make your work more attractive. Please pay attention to the numbers used for settings. The project is almost complete. Now you can add any text you like or use video footages in the background and achieve your desired output. by creating several copies of the 3D line, changing the size and angle, and placing them in different parts of the screen with the help of the fast blur effect, your work will be excellent.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay creative.